Down now, we'll stay. 
morning, everyone. Good Thanks morning. for joining us on this amazing summer morning out here. I can think of a few places better suited for today's wonderful events than right here where we are with the Wizard Academy behind us and the Hill Country unfolding behind us back here. So we're all here today because we are friends and family of the couple through childhood, through blood, through careers, and through critically acclaimed news and entertainment blogs. <laughs> all of these different roads have led us to this point today. And it was because of friendship and kinship, and that's a beautiful thing. Many of you have traveled great distances to be here today, from faraway places like Norway, and England, and Germany, and exotic cities here, like Los Angeles, Dallas, <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> Pflugerville. <laughs> Ava and Craig both want you to know that they are deeply touched by your presence here today and consider it a testament to the strength of the bonds that hold us together in this world. And it's that very bond that we're here to celebrate today. A bond forged between two people over the steadfast crawl of time and selfless exchanges of myriad human experiences. Ava and Craig do not lightly present themselves to you here today as a unified couple, because these bonds are neither lightly forged, nor are they as common as we all would hope. And their bond does have a name. It's a name that evokes hope, a name that reinforces in the hearts of all the power of the human spirit. And that name, of course, is love. It's a love that was formed and shaped like a sculptor's most prized masterpiece over the years a beautiful sculpture that reflects their worship of each other. It's a love that we've all had the good fortune of witnessing firsthand, being strengthened in epic treks across the globe, in your sweet and sour karaoke duets, <laughs> and in the midst of insane dance parties that ended with champagne soaking through the drywall. <laughs> the love shared between Abel and Craig is their temple. And today, Ava and Craig want to invite all of us to witness this temple that they've built, brick by handmade brick. They want to testify in front of you their pride, their faith, and their tender support in each other. I'd like to invite to the stage Adele Sanchez for a reading by His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. Take into account that great love and great achievements involve great risks, and that a loving atmosphere in your home is a foundation for your life. Be gentle with the earth, be gentle with one another. When disagreements come, remember always to protect the spirit of your union. When you realize you've made a mistake, take immediate steps to correct it. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for each other. So love yourselves, love one another, love all that is your life together, and all else will follow. Thank you, that was beautiful. Next up, I'd like to call Carmen Schofield to the front. She's going to be doing a reading entitled Another Roadside Attraction by Tom Robbins. Come. Amanda's eyes grew as bright as, bright as Violet's soul. She stared at Ziller. He at her. They modified each other by the looking. Something almost angelic danced on the aggressive surfaces of his face. She carried her excitement lightly, the way a hunter carries a wooden shotgun in the fence. Warm chemical yokes burst in their throats. In the magnetized space between them, they threw their thoughts like hearts. At last, he reached out for her. She took his hand. For several hours, the couple walked in the landscape. They held hands, but did not speak. Vast energies flowed between them. With the sun, they formed the points of a radiant triangle. I am told you are somewhat of a wanderer, she said. That is not correct, he answered. I travel a great deal, but I never wander. Ziller said to her, I am told you are a gypsy and a clairvoyant in the bargain. Does that mean that you too are a traveler? I'm a gypsy in spirit only she would best. 
and travel in gardens and bedrooms, basements and attics, around corners, through doorways and windows, along sidewalks, upstairs, over carpets, down drain pipes, with phones, children and heroes, perceived, remembered, imagined, distorted and clarified. Ziller was pleased. He gave her a ring whose ruby setting had been shipped from the great eyed deli, whispered his secret name to her and asked her to become his wife. Amanda sang for him the seven hymns of the Arapaho, gave him the scarab out of her navel, told him her secret name, and said, of course. Flushed with sun and passion, they floated back to camp and into the flailing arms of the celebration. Third and final reading I'd like to call Big Me Front. So we're reading a lovely love story by Edward Munson. The fierce dinosaur was trapped inside his cage of ice. Craig. <laughs> Although it was cold, he was happy in there. It was, after all, his cage. Then along came the lovely other dinosaur. <laughs> The lovely other dinosaur melted the dinosaur's cage with kind words and loving thoughts. I like this dinosaur, thought the lovely other dinosaur. Although he is fierce, he is also tender, and he is funny. <laughs> he is also quite clever, though I would not tell him that for now. I like this lovely other dinosaur, thought the dinosaur. She is beautiful, and she is different, and she smells so nice. <laughs> she is also a free spirit, which is a quality I much admire in a dinosaur. But he can be so distant and so peculiar at times, thought the lovely other dinosaur. <laughs> he is also overly fond of things. <laughs> <laughs> but her, skips mind, her mind skips from here to there so quickly, thought the dinosaur. She is also uncommonly keen on shopping. <laughs> Are all other lovely dinosaurs uncommonly keen on shopping? <laughs> I will forgive his peculiarities and his concern for things thought the lovely other dinosaur, for they are part of what makes him a richly charactered individual. I will forgive her skipping mind and her fondness for shopping, thought the dinosaur, for she fills our life with beautiful thoughts and wonderful surprises. Besides, I am not been keen on shopping either. <laughs> but now the dinosaur and the lovely other dinosaur are old. Look at them. Together they stand on the hill telling each other stories and feeling the warmth of the sun on their backs. And that, my friends, is how it is with love. Let us all be dinosaurs and lovely other dinosaurs together. <laughs> For the sun is warm, and the world is a beautiful place. And to add, this warmth that you're feeling today is not the sun. It's the love that these two have for each other, and the friends that all love the sun. Stuff. <laughs> got a special reading today by Oscar Satillo and Stephanie Beasley, accompanied by Paul Shelton and Wendy Mitchell. Back then. It's going to be a special reading from the book of Avery Johnson. <laughs> I know.
absolutely okay, Darren. It's okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have done my job if you <laughs> So now we're coming to a, a little bit of audience participation uh, before we get on. Um, I, I wanted to, to add a little bit. You know, it's Craig and Ava prepared to join their lives. I think it's important to understand that everyone here today has played a part in shaping the character and the evolution of this relationship. This union we're seeing today is, is in large part because of all of you. Um, you know, so we're here not only to witness their vows to each other, but also to bestow upon them our blessings. So I'd like to take this moment now to ask everyone here three very simple questions, and don't be bashful in your replies. First question, do we bless this couple? Yes! Second question, do we acknowledge that the continuity of our support is a link forever unbroken and bolstered by this very moment in time? Yes! And the last question, and I want to hear your answers ring through the hill country behind us. Do you pledge now and forever to support and strengthen this union by surrounding Ava and Craig with your love, your concern, and your friendship? Yes! <laughs> Craig Robert McCullough, do you stand here today as a man of free will and passion? fully able to wander all roads of your choosing in this life. And you have chosen through your free will and passion to travel your future paths with Miss Ava, Isabella Sanchez, standing here by your side. I absolutely am. <laughs> Do you acknowledge the temple of love you built for each other will require you constant care and maintenance, and that you will remain a fastidious partner in the upkeep of this temple, this union, tending to all its necessary needs until the sun no longer reddens your skin? <laughs> I do. Ada Isabella Sanchez, do you stand here today as a woman of free will and passion, fully able to wander all roads of your choosing in this life? <laughs> and you have chosen, through your free will and passion, to travel your future paths with Mr. Craig and Robert McCullough, standing here by your side? Yes, I have. Do you acknowledge, then, that the temple of love you've built for each other will require your constant care and maintenance, and that you will remain a fastidious partner in the upkeep of this temple, this union, tending to all its necessary needs until flying pests can no longer irritate your skin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reaper, please present me with the reins. I don't have your pens. <laughs> Craig, <laughs> Ava, these rings are more than just metal. These rings are more than just symbols of tradition. These rings are more than just rope metaphors for the cliched standards of, of infinity and forever, of undying devotion and love. Because you can say these things with mere words. These rings transcend our notions of the known and the knowable. These rings are intangible statements that you're both making to each other to everyone gathered here today, and to everyone you will ever meet from this day forward. These rings for each of you will say forevermore that you have joined together in something deeper and more powerful than any force creatable or knowable by man. For you, these bands state that mountains can be made out of thin air. For you, these bands state that the mundane is magnificent. For you, these bands state that no isolation will ever be powerful enough for you to ever feel alone again. These bands are the keys to your temple, and you must present them to each other. Craig, would you please do yourself the honor and place this ring in Ava's hand? Ava, would you please do yourself the honor and place this ring in Craig's hand? By the power vested in me by this awesome state of Texas and FirstNationMinistry.com, <laughs> I am thrilled to present for you, for the very first time, Craig Robert McCullough and Ava Isabella Sanchez is officially married. <laughs>